Welcome back to the Mile High City. Gene Sabalski for EA Sports and Denver hockey fans have an embarrassment of riches on the ice with this roster. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go. The Hurricanes get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Moves into the slot. Big time stop. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Big time stop there. Grabbed along the board by Ajo. Trying to gain a step. He's in. Oh, the line. He scores. What a shot. Colorado's come to play. Look at that. A quick goal here just minutes in. Well, it's all about getting the start that you want, James. And, and that doesn't always mean a goal. It means being heavy in on the forecheck, establishing pressure, capitalizing on their opportunity. Scores! Oh, what a finish! Oh, this is just incredible body positioning, James. Just execution at its finest in terms of balance. That wide stance to evade a defender who's trying to push you off the puck. Looking opportunistic and finishing it with a great shot. Lots of time left in this period. The Avs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. From the open ice, they gain the line. Carolina's looking to break out. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Gives them nothing in front. Slick feed. Carolina's moving it into the offensive end. Rips it from the blue line. Face off coming up as the puck goes up and over the glass. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 2-0 is where we sit. Kakaniemi's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. The Avs trying to gain a step. Is it alone? What a stop on the breakaway. Oh, and he makes another save. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Moves it to the offensive zone. Sends the feet in front. Picked up along the boards by Manson. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one, just over-rotate, under-rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. Gains the save on the left wing. And that's a smart heads-up play by Pesci. Carolina's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Huge steal in his own end. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Martin has been all around the net. It's what he does best, but he hasn't found a way to cash in. This is extremely frustrating for himself and the team when you get these golden opportunities and you don't put it in. Let's get the call. Kimaranja's pick on the play has resulted in an interference penalty. And with his third eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Rontanen's very accurate when he shoots a settle down puck with his snipe zone ability. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can give their team the edge. Now back to you. The Hurricanes looking against the half wall. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Keeps a hold of the puck after that knock. There's the physical side. Takes it into the slot. Oh, a short save. Georgia has been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point blank save. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Takes the puck. Now oh, they're really driving pressure in the O zone, dictating the pace. Now they've got to find a way to funnel it to the net. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shot. Scores! Absolutely critical finish on the breakaway! possession in their own end. Can't get a hold of that pass. Carolina's gained possession along the board. 
boards. Here they come up along the wing. Loses his balance on the play. O'Connor's got it against the boards. Scores! Break out the clutch here on the steal it because that's four unanswered. Well, it's incredible. You can tell that they are moving and shaking. They're getting the puck going north. They're transitioning so fast. And man, do they have their opponent on their heels. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Oh, we got a piece meant to keep it out. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Pucks in the net, but the whistle sounds blowing the play down. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. It was quite the one-sided tilt in the first 20 minutes. Let's see if that continues here in the second. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Colorado's playing fast and intense, and in terms of puck pursuit, man, they have dominated. They've been first on it. And when they haven't, guess what? They play so quickly that they force their opponent into vulnerable spots. Puck scooped up by Burns. And now it's grabbed by McCarr. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Puck grabbed by Rantanen. Oh, big time save by Kuchnikov! And he makes that save as well. Just fantastic work by the goaltender, making consecutive saves. How athletic. Down the right side and into the zone. Oh, and here's the pass. What a steal in his own end. Colorado's been stifling their opponent all game long. Just they're right up in their face. They're turning over pucks. They're finding ways to interrupt the play. And wow, they're going forward quick and in a hurry. And they're just dominating the scoreboard. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Bunting. The Abs have been so impressive this evening, James. I mean, the way they started the game, the urgency around the puck, everything that they've done has shown us that they want to be in this game and they want to get on the scoreboard. Puts it on there. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. and it's opening up lanes to the net. Good hit to bump him off the puck. The Hurricanes have it now. Gains control the puck here at the line. A little rock and sock him on the play. Scores! We'll get those rally caps on. Uh, everyone's going to need to have one on. It's going to be a team collective contribution if they want to get back in this one, but it all starts with one goal. If they can layer it, find a way Get another one quickly? You never know. Certainly down, but not out completely yet. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. Carolina's got one back here in period number two, and they're starting to change the pace of play now. Yeah, it's almost like they've got more fuel in the tank right now. Listen, it hasn't been an awful game for them. They have had the majority of possession times, but it's about execution. If they can get another one here, they'll certainly change the momentum. The Avalanche have the puck in their own zone. All alone! Can't get that one to go. Oh, it's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and a missed opportunity. Quick shot! Oh, what an opportunity, but it just goes a little higher than that. Well, when you're in the ozone and you have possession, you're trying to create numbers. They do such a great job of getting to the net, and that opportunity ensues. Oh, you can see the frustration and the body language in him right now. That's the second penalty he's taken this period, James. The Hurricanes send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. 
And with the centers tied up, he swoops. Scores! Off the post and in! Well, that's a real sneaky one that fooled the goaltender, James. I had not much room available, but that one, perfectly executed. What I really love about this power play is it isn't predictable, which means the PK doesn't know where that puck is going. That's how you manipulate it. That's how you open up lanes. And this shot comes from the mid lane or the interior of the ice, and it's buried. Carolina's been on their heels all night long, but they finally pushed back here in period number two. Certainly something positive to get on the board, but they're gonna have to build on top of it if they wanna really create some momentum and believe that they're back in this game. Colorado's penalty killers get a hold of it. Here we go, two on one. Scores! An emphatic finish off the crush. That's how you do it. The Avalanche have been absolutely tenacious in their pursuit of the puck, and it has paid off in bunches at the back of the net. Yeah, it's been great to watch. I mean, entertaining when there's so many puck touches right through the lineup. It's a lot of fun as a player, too. You feel like you're contributing. attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Gets in front of it. Takes the pass from his goaltender. There's another for the hit parade. Johansson standing up, ready to go. Disappointing power play effort. Oh, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Avs can't get frustrated here at their play. They, yes, they've hit multiple posts, but they are in the lead, and they're continuing to get a number of shot opportunities and offensive chances. Just stick with it, and eventually another one will go in. The Hurricanes have had more opportunities tonight, but at some point they need to start finishing here late in period number two. Puck picked up in the open ice. The Hurricanes gain possession. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Colorado's been working hard all night long, in particular in their defensive positioning. They're just shutting down, closing all of the white ice with those sticks. Big stop just as time expires in the period. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. So far. The Hurricanes start behind after two periods, James, and it's no surprise here. They're not managing the puck, they're not transitioning, and if you give it away, you can't generate any offense. And the puck sails into the bench, forcing a stop into play. Carolina's played well tonight, but they still trail here early in this third period, despite leading in the shot department. Colorado's won the defensive zone draw. Takes it in front. Taken by McKinnon. Knocked away by Burns. Puck clears the zone and they'll be forced to regroup. Moves it to Rantanen. The Avs take the puck through the neutral zone. Quick pass to Rantanen. The Avs have the puck now. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. And a good heads up defensive play in the open ice. Here's a pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Denies him again. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. He scores! Sebastian Ajo! Well, great placement, but he had to get 
get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. The Hurricanes are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Still keeps a hold of the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Manson's hauled down, penalty on the way. Let's see what the officials say. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch, you take another penalty. You gotta find a way to just reset your composure. As they step into the face off circle, let's see if they can take advantage on this power play. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice, spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Drew is ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice job tying up his opponent. Tremendous save by Georgiev. What a chance here. And that rush comes to an end after a great defensive play. Oh, what a hip check of the old school variety. Beautiful. Icing is the call. We'll get a face off at the other end. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And he takes the dish. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. For the comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Nachuskin's got it into offensive territory. And there's the save. And that's poked away by Nachuskin. Great pressure to force the turnover by Rantanen. The Avs have picked up yet another pass, James. This is incredible. They dominated play all night long. They're all over the place, and they know exactly where to be. Break away! Oh, he can't pull the trigger on the play! Well, it's because he skated himself into no man's land, ran out of real estate, and gets nothing for it. Thank you. He'd like that one back. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Let's get the call here. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the trip and go. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. He was locked in there. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Works it across to Taves. He's got a step. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Man, has he ever had his legs tonight? Look at him break away from the pack. He's in all alone. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle, James, with a little bit of a pause there to get the goaltender to bite, and then he puts it in the back of the net. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And he scores. He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. recognize that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. We got a whistle penalty coming up. The Avalanche 
Rush have been handed a two-minute penalty for cross-checking. Listen, a power play, you want to make sure that you're getting a high percentage shooting shot. And that's exactly what they did earlier on the 1-3-1 where they were able to capitalize. It's about opening up lanes, getting the coverage to move around, and then firing and executing when you have it. Quick pass across to Kivaranta. Carolina's got it now. From in close! Scores! And the power play comes up big again! I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. The Hurricanes have definitely gone with the shoot first mentality tonight, but they continue to trail late in this third period. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. And as the final seconds kick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Fires it on net. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Share the lesson tonight. It's not the quantity of shots, it's the quality.